Hello, people of the internet. Um, today we're going to talk about something that I've been getting some emails about. Um, so thank you guys so much for the emails and the comments and the, the things that I've been getting the past couple of weeks. It's been awesome. Um, I, I'm so glad that some of the stuff that I've been saying has been able to be able to help you guys. Um, so keep that coming. Um, so today we're going to talk a, a little bit about how to get to the interview. Um, some of the questions and concerns I've been getting is has been how do I get to the interview as a step one, not not what do I do in the interview, but well, how do I get to the interview when I have a mediocre portfolio, an average portfolio or less, um, no experience, no no understanding of of who I'm supposed to be in contact with or anything. So how do I get to the interview? Um, so I figured the best way for me to talk about that would be to talk about my own experience. Um, so I graduated from a tech school um, with a 3D animation um, degree. Um, it wasn't an art school. Um, I didn't really get any design background. Um, truthfully, I didn't spend very much time in school. Um, it was a four-year school, but I, I mean, I, I didn't care. I mean, I, I truthfully didn't care very much. Um, and I guess if I applied myself a little bit more, it probably would have turned out a little bit better. Um, but the school was not very good. Um, I, I had no idea that I needed an art major, an art background to do art things, um, especially when you came out of school. Um, so it was a it was a very interesting start. So I, I graduated um, and then I couldn't find a job. I had no demo. Um, I didn't even know what a demo reel was. Um, so I actually continued doing what I was doing before, which was a, I was a security guard. So I was doing that. I was decided that I, I should move um, back home where my parents were um, when I got out of school. Um, and so I did that. Um, I went to a job fair, applied at a bunch of different jobs, um, didn't really get anywhere. Um, so I started selling cars. Um, I actually really enjoyed that job. I like cars. I like people. So it, it helped me be able to make some pretty good money. Um, I just got married. Um, and then I got a phone call um, from a TV station that I had met when I was at the, at the job fair. Um, that actually was the first job that I ever had working in TV. Um, they asked me if I had any experience running audio and I didn't, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so they just taught me how to run the, the soundboard and to, to do stuff for live news. And, and that's where I got my start. Um, I was working at a place that didn't even have nonlinear editors yet. So they were still doing tape to tape stuff. Um, it taught me a lot about the way the TV works. Um, and I actually, I was there for about two and a half years. Um, I went from running audio to run a mass control to helping start one of their other stations to directing live news um, to helping them with the graphics in the morning um, because I had to work the the five o'clock in the morning shift so you had to be there at like 345 or something in the morning um, and there really wasn't I had no experience I had no idea how to use some of the software I had no idea how to do some of the stuff and so all I did was just pick up some books and kept reading and studying and oh well how do I do that no oh, how do I do this and then um, once they started getting their nonlinear editors in, I started trying to learn how to use that. No, there's this program called After Effects, and I started trying to figure out how to use that. Um, I also, I started reaching out to people that did the same stuff I was doing. Um, I found some other guys that were um, building graphics and news and stuff like that, um, and I reached out. I didn't want to. I was nervous. I was super scared to reach out. Um, I didn't want to act like an idiot, but I really had questions. How do you do these things and how do you do that? And so I started finding people's demos that were in news and doing that and sending out emails and I was getting emails back, which was awesome. Um, and so that pointed me in the right direction to get some books and read. And um, I took out a loan for a laptop. Um, actually, I couldn't. I had terrible credit, so my wife helped me. Um, but we took out a loan for a laptop. And, and I started studying on my free time. Um, and that, that led, I was getting paid $7 an hour there. It was terrible. Um, and so I had to, I had to leave. I mean, I, I was married. Um, I was there for a couple of years, really hoping that it would go somewhere and it wasn't. So I went back to doing security. I did security at a library for a while. Um, and then I got an opportunity to go and interview um, because of the TV experience I had. I had an opportunity to go and interview to edit live television. Um, I had never edited live television before. So that job, I got that job purely on the interview and a little bit of experience that I had in TV. Um, so I went in, 
I nailed the interview. They hired me. It was for a Christian TV station or T- TV network thing. And so I, I did that. And then I took every opportunity I had there to study and learn how to edit, how to get to tape, how to go here, do that, do After Effects. I started bringing my 3D stuff that I had, you know, years and years and years ago back. Um, I started doing that. I started seeing the integration between these programs and started doing that. Um, I started putting pieces together. I constantly was putting little pieces together, kind of the same way I do now. Um, constantly putting little things here and there um, that I was like, oh, that's cool. Let's save that. And that's cool. Let's save that. Um, and so I did that for a long time. And then that led to another job where I actually helped start a, a television show, um, which was awesome. Um, and then that job got me word of mouth to, to go to my first post house. Um, because they saw all the experience I had editing and all the motion graphic experience I was getting because I was just constantly just trying to involve my craft. And then that led to the stars where I was at working on like Ash vs. Evil Dead and shows like that, like Outlander and things like that. And then that job led to the job that I'm at now, which is back in commercial, um, where I work on commercial production stuff, which is awesome. Um, but all that stuff led, every single job that I've had I've made sure to make the most of it, no matter how little it is. And so that's the that's the thing that I want to like really like lock in with you guys today is just making sure that no matter how small the job is that you guys are going to be doing or that you're trying to get, do the best you can to learn everything you can about that job. And then and then take that little step to go to the next spot and then do everything you can to learn everything about that to go on to the next spot. And then. So if you just take the tasks that you have in front of you and you do the best you can at those and you learn what you can about that and then it leads to the next spot, then do that. And I and I know that you're still looking to try to get to the interview, right? So so maybe I know our expectations are like way up here. I know my expectations were like, I want to work for ILM and I want to do these things and Pixar and all this stuff, right? Like I, I just want to work at all these wonderful places. I mean, everybody does. Everybody wants to be at that level and work at those places and especially if you never have um but maybe we need to to bring our bars down and get what we can get initially because there's a lot of people and businesses that need help so maybe step out try to get a job that you can get learn everything you can from there take the next step go to the next place learn everything you can from there and just keep progressing because you know now i'm in my 30s um, i've been doing this for a decade and I still don't think I'm ever going to be able to work at ILM or Pixar or anything like that. But my goals have changed. My, my, my intentions for my career has changed. Um, and maybe, maybe as you guys go through your career and your steps and your stuff, you guys will, will change your ideas of what you guys want your career to be like too. Um, anyway, I hope that's a help. Again, thank you guys so much for the emails and the comments and the, the things, um, positive and negative. Um, that stuff has helped me a bunch. Um, And I hope this is helping you guys a lot. Anyway, please comment, like, share, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.